Hey, Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I keep on getting confused. What do I say? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So, yeah, because you may have, or Venus, you may have the other placements in Taurus also. Oh, I was just a uh, brain rackled. <laughs> brain freckled. All right, my spirit guides, universe, angel guides around me. I have a reading that I'm going to do. Love energy spread for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, please. And thank you. I call in all my spirit guides, positive energies only. Only positive energies are allowed around me in this reading for, um, I was going to say Venus, for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys clicking on my video and watching. And this is for, remember, this is for a certain group of Tauruses. We have our first message. Who's fighting with you in the family? The five of wands for me and my readings means that there's a family conflict going on. Who is fighting with you or there's toxicity around happening more or less in your family. I'm so sorry if that's you. Um, but remember, this is for a specific group of um, Tauruses. Tauruses, you have to take some time out. And here you are, my love, queen of pentacles, male or female, does not matter. You are showing up in your own freaking reading. Amazing energy, of course, a tough cookie. Tough cookie handling it like you have to, but you need to relax. Rest and relaxation and some time off. You need this urgently. And also for mental stability. And then the ace of pentacles, I know you're thinking about your pentacles. You're thinking about your money, right? This is a major, major aspect of who you are internally as a Taurus queen or king. So just take it easy, relax. Maybe this family situation has gotten you a little bit riled up. A lot of fire energy in there. So take it easy. Now, this is a love energy spread. This is in regards to a love connection with a person, the person that you're thinking about right now. All right, so then this is how the reading goes. Your energy is over here for the following two to three weeks, give or take. And this is their energy, the person you're thinking about, okay, for the next two to three weeks. This is what the universe, spirit guides, whatever God you believe in, what they are doing in regards to this connection. And up here is a potential outcome, my loves. Give or take two to three weeks. Remember that in the spirit world, in that realm, there's no such thing as... 3, 4, 5 p.m. I always change the time or next week. All right. So realize this is all within divine guidance, divine timing, and however you handle your individual case per se. Okay. Phases, phases. I'm hearing the word phases, Taurus. There are phases in your life that are changing and they have to change. Don't stop it. Give me a card for Taurus, please, in regards to this connection. Give me a card for the person that Taurus is thinking about in regards to this love connection. Thank you, thank you. Give me a card, please, in regards to the universe, spirit guides, etc. What are they doing in regards to Taurus's connection and a potential outcome, give or take, for the next two to three weeks for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The King of Wands, this is the energy that holds this love reading. So this is extremely uh, potent, potent power and somebody in charge, somebody that is determined, strong-willed, and moves forward with their goals and does what they need to do. If this is your energy, my dear Taurus, queen or king, you are fucking amazing. It's the head bitch in charge energy. Good for you. Maintain your power. You're maintaining your power. You're moving forward with, with what needs to be done, with what you believe needs to be done. That's awesome. What's your energy in regards to, I almost turned it over, but I saw the card, haha. Ha. So in regards to this connection for the next two to three weeks. The moon card, and I still looked at it and read it because it wasn't totally positive. The moon card, babe. So Taurus, listen. The love energy that you're going to be in most probably, and this is for a certain group of Tauruses, remember that. The moon card is, is underlying motives. Now, this is the love energy that you have around you. 
So what underlying motives do you think that you would have or maybe secrets or things that are not being told to this person? Are you not being sincere? Are you not being open? Are you not speaking your mind? But this energy is, this is the HBIC energy, head bitch in charge. So why wouldn't you be saying what you feel is on your mind? Would you be hiding something? That wouldn't be good for a love connection if this is really the higher vibrational connection. Okay? All right, Taurus. So remember, any energy that you think that you may be holding within or withholding, you get it? This would have to be spoken about. Let's see what the other cards say, okay? Then we'll get more to it because they all equal one whole reading. And this is the basis of it. Remember that. So then what is their energy in regards to this connection, give or take? Okay, they don't want to try anymore, apparently. The Four of Cups is kind of like, nope. Um, I'm not going to try anymore. Look at the guy with the arms crossed. They may be a water sign element, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or have it in their chart. But regardless, Taurus, they, want, they really don't want to try anymore, at least not now. Remember, everything is at the moment or where the energy is shifting. You get it? So this is basically them, the Four of Cups. Yeah, I'm not going to try. Uh, it's the proverbial hand of God uh, handing them a cup of emotions, of love, and they don't want it. They do not want it. Maybe because they found out you have some, some kind of, I'm not saying a secret or that you're secretive, or maybe you haven't told them something and it needs to come out. Right? All right. Let's see what the universe, spirit guides, etc. What are they doing? Oh, shit. Why did, why did I know? Because I know what is going to come out in the story. Like, dude, three of swords. Yes, of course. A third party situation, most probably. And they, the, the spirit guides the universe and God. No, it's not like it's not going to go any further. What do you have that's hiding? What do you have hidden under the covers, per se? You have to speak about it. You want to tell me in the comments or me give you a personal reading, Taurus? I will. $20. Reach out to me via email. The Three of Swords? No. The Spirit Guides Universe are saying, no, this is not moving. It's not moving because there is something going on as in three, third party? No. Because once me as a reader, I'm seeing this card, this one, and then this turns out to be what the higher realm is doing for this connection? No, they're not going to do anything because they know something's going on. Maybe I'm calling you out right here, Taurus, on the reading. You never know. It's like the lottery. You never know. If you're not doing something right, you're not doing something right. ¿Qué pasa? You know what I mean, Jelly Bing? I got to buy a new bag of these. So, you know, when you're being a bad girl or a bad boy, regardless, you got to let the person know. And then be like, okay, I'm not going to waste your time anymore. I know it has to do with emotions. And um, release, release, release and let go. Or if this is you that's being, you know, held back because of a third party, you know, let's open up all the, uh, the energies here, guys, because we have to do what's right. We have to do what's right and honor our fellow beings going through a human experience that are in this same place as we are. Let's see what the... Uh, the potential outcome is maybe we have hope okay okay so the chariot is the cancer card the cancerian card but regardless it is movement ahead but with bumpy roads with a bumpy road you see these uh the sphinx they're kind of like turned to the side or maybe somebody needs to take a ride this is a car this is in the spanish deck is el carro the car so literally it's kind of like letting you know well there is a potential outcome as in a yes, but you both need to go your separate ways to find the, the potential outcome of, of a yes, a yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like to fix things. You get it like when people go on a break or maybe you are on a break already because maybe you have had a change of mind, Taurus, and you want to do what you want to do. You want to move forward with your passions and desires. And maybe this person is not on the same page and it's nobody's fault. You know, maybe they're hurt and you like you're asking them to try or they're just negating and they're saying no. 
they don't, they don't want to move forward with anything else, which is okay. Everything is okay as long as there's a positive outcome to a situation. Okay, my love? And with kids. If there are kids in the middle, everything needs to come out to a positive outcome and nothing be attributed to the kids, towards the kids. All right, my love? Okay, Taurus. So let me know what you think about your reading. Please share, like, subscribe. Uh, join me on my other um, social media platforms. I'm on TikTok, Instagram. Say hi. Send me a message if you'd like a reading. I have my, my email down below in the description box. So we go from there, okay? I love you, kiddo. Bye.